Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Itacaré. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm traveling in Bahia to see my daughter and to come to my favorite state in Brazil. Today is 81 Fahrenheit, 27.7 centigrade. The temperature is just perfect. We are in fall here in autumn, and the water is uh, the best temperature. The, we are in May at 4.44, and in May is the rain season in Bahia. So in one day, we can have rain, cloudy day, sun. Today, I already did the hike. I went to the beach. I had lunch close to the beach, and I already went entered to the streams to shower and then i'm here working with you on hago it's a great pleasure to be back here uh, i'm here to be with my daughter and also to get to know local great things to experience in bahia and to connect with local guides and the local communities in order to uh, be able to plan future travels for you hey goers or you who wants to come here to bahia 
or other friends who might come and join me. I can connect with you local guides and local cool experience that I am trying and experience myself. The tour to Itacaré Sunset Series is starting now. Today the day is a little bit cloudy, but fortunately enough, we are lucky today because at this time of the day, it's not raining today. Unfortunately, I had to cancel the last tour because due to the rain, and but today we will have some colors on the sky in Itacaré city in the northeast of Brazil. Today I can see here Marta is present. Mark and Sheila. Mark, are you present here on the tour? Is Sheila there present as well? Well, uh, Mark participated on the boat ride sunset tour here in Itacaré with me and he really enjoyed it and had a good time, right Mark? And he did a very nice uh, video with photo prints that he took himself and organized and posted in his Facebook. So please, Mark, feel free to share here at the end of the tour the link to that beautiful postcard series you did from our boat ride sunset. Hey, Hans, present here again from Bavaria. That's great. Hi, Joy, Iris, or Iris, like we say in Rio, in Brazil. Katia, Katia, two, 360 world, Mary, thanks for come live, love, and laugh. That's amazing that you are here present. And uh, soon, today, what we will see, a little bit of history of this colonial beach town of which was a fisherman's village located in the Cocoa Coast, so there will be uh, stories of pirates, of fishermen, of indigenous people from this region, of the Cocoa Lands, what are the attractions, and also the beautiful sun setting for us in the street of the port area, on the Fort Street. So we will be able to go there to where the fishermen's associations are located. Well, today is the 2nd of June, and I will be in Itacaré until June 5th, where I will go up to the city of Salvador on a trip, which will take me about six hours to get there total. And I will meet Sayuri Koshima, the tour guide here of Hey Go, who does and runs the tours in Salvador of Bahia. Uh, I will get a chance to meet her in person and see the awesome things that she shares all about Salvador, their life. So please let me know how Dorley, thanks for joining. If in case you want to have more tours here in Itacaré town, I, you can commission that tour with me. I will be present in other uh, platforms. It can be here if you tip me and then I can schedule another tour for tomorrow or after tomorrow. And also remember, this is a payment based. It's voluntary to support the guide and highly recommend that more you support us, the more we want to, to put energy and resources to come here and share our experiences, our travels and our destinations with you, okay? In case you want to have the other tours I had here, the Itacaré boat ride tour with sunset or the sunset series in the Charel viewpoint where we had the last time. Today we will do the fourth uh, sunset. Or if you want Itacaré flavors and culture, which is another tour we did, please just go to uh, get in touch with me at Rio Encanto's Instagram page and follow me on YouTube to see uh, past videos or to either come and join me and commission another paid, prepaid tour and I can run these tours again with you, okay? For you. All right then. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much for supporting the work. We are in Itacaré Beach Town, and Sarah and Igor is, are also joining us. Now, if you look here on, the, on your app, 
it's different from the app that I'm using here. So please, uh, in order to see the tip button, please let me know. Let your other Hey Go Voyages know where that button is located because here for me, it doesn't show up on the same place. You also have resources besides uh, giving your support to the guide. You also have resources of looking on the map where we are located in the northeast of Bahia. It's 4.50 p.m. now. The sun will set in about 20 minutes. And we will see after the sunset the colors that we will also showcase for us. We are in the historic center, Hi Igo, and the main historic square of Vitacare Beach Town. And there, on the elevated part, you see the church of the Matriz Church historic church from the 18th century of São Miguel Arcanjo, the patron saint of this location. This church is there since the, 18, since the 1700s, so the 18th century, and it has the house of the Jesuits there on the other side. When this place was inhabited by indigenous people from the Itaca, Itaca which means Rio River, um, like a, a river that makes a different noise, he, re, itacare, the rivers that make different noises. And I myself had a chance to find out why, while hiking on a boat trip to the waterfall of the river of the the mill. Thank you, Hans, for so much so much for supporting my work. And there on the Jesuit house in the church, you see the first uh, occupations of the Portuguese in the lands of Brazil in the, in the Americas. They first did their settlements in the highest part of the villages. And they made the palisadas, uh, making a fence surrounding the occupation because the indigenous tribes around the occupations they, of course, didn't want to give away their lands and they would fight back in order to expel the Portuguese. So people say that underneath the Jesuit house, which is from the Jesuit Catholic orders, the priests built a tunnel on, connecting that house to the church, a tunnel underground. I haven't had a chance to see that. But historically, it's built there because that was a way to resist the combat of indigenous people in that time. Now, Itacare is a city with about 28,000 inhabitants, what looks a lot, but actually 50% of its population is spread throughout its rural areas in the municipality. As you see here, soccer in Brazil, is our favorite sports and the kids are here playing after they arrived from school and they are still with their backpacks very curious looking at us and playing soccer as they are doing in the at the beach even with the instructors the sports instructors and here's the name of the city itacare ita itaca the river that makes a noise, re, a strange noise, because there are rocks in the parts of the river here that the waters goes underneath the rocks and they make burping sounds, which are really different. Here is the beach of Coroinha, and it's where you find a lot of boat riders who takes us on boat trips throughout this coast here. Hi, Ellen. Hey, Susan, Faith, and Paul, Stephen. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey to the Itacaré city. On the last time, we ran a sunset series tour on that part of the island in the Charel viewpoint. We did that where the most tourists will stay there and they will clap their hands to the sunset. They set up lights, a fireplace. They put DJs. They make drinks, they dance, and they party. So that's the sunset party part of the, of the city. 
So, and then when you go all the way around here is the Concha part where I'm located here with my daughter, where the artisans have their studios. They make arts and crafts. Here is the Coroinha shore. All the boat riders now, they arrived from the, the trips throughout the day and they take you on different boat rides to different places. In September, there is whale watching in that part of the coast where the Jubarte whales, they come all the way here to have their babies in the warmer lands of Bahia and the calm waters, as you can see. Also, there are boat rides. The next, the last time we did the Sunset Series, we did a boat ride tour all the way to the Farol Beach. And now we are doing, going to that part there to see the sunset colors of the fourth part. Let's go on our walk in Itacaré. A lot of people are joining us. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Also, please remember to follow me at Rio Encantos YouTube channel, Instagram page, Facebook group, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S. Rio and Campus. Thank you, Mary and Sue, for joining. Today, the, the sky is cloudy, and we won't have the many, many, the palette of colors will be a, a part of that will be partially covered by the clouds. But because it's not raining, I decided to run the tour anyway, so we can have uh, this experience of seeing how is the sun down in, in Itacare. Also join other tours of South American guides. There is a fisherman cleaning some fish he picked himself. And here are the nice cozy houses and a colonial house of the, the Cocoa uh, Coast area when Brazil became in the 1800s and the beginning of the 20th century the biggest exporter of cocoa of cacao in Brazil in the world now with the seventh ranking in the world and in Ilhéus and all the surroundings here they plant cacao which is a fruit that has, and I showed you in another tour as well, seeds in these seeds, like the coffee seeds, beans, they are roasted. And then after being roasted, they are grinded. They are also fermented before that process. And they are used to produce, to export and produce chocolates throughout the world. There is a lot, a big history around uh, cocoa and the barrens of the cacao in these areas, in these lands. So this part of Bahia in Ilhéus, it's very rich part of uh, resistance of uh, land, uh, land conflicts involving farmers and uh, uh, black people who established themselves here fighting and working in the cocoa lands. Indigenous people who were the originary people of these lands and uh, any questions you might have surrounding this history please let me know and I will be glad to answer you different questions as you see here in the coast of Itacaré the there will be many bars and restaurants of all sorts we are in the Itacaré culture tour we uh, entered in the city, in the town, and I showed the different shops and the different uh, touristic part of Itacare. Today I'm showing the last touristic part of it. Hey, more people joined. Hi, Jason. Hi, Elaine. Hey, Wharton. It's now... 5 p.m. in Brazil, and the kids already arrived from school. They're here at the, at the beach in their soccer school now. 
practicing. And their parents arrived from the fisherman village. And now we are arriving here at the part where the Association of Fishermen is located. It's another historic part. And where there is the history of the fort, which is, gives the name of these streets to the fourth street. Because it has a history involving the river of Contas where people would make the transactions of cocoa to export since the 19th century. And in, when the 1800s, the, they were bringing also through the river that I'm sh going to show you, they were bringing diamonds from Diamantina lands in Bahia. How is COVID there now? Now well, COVID here is, uh, there aren't cases, People are wearing masks. In Rio, that is not very good because of the carnival. So it increased a little bit, the, the cases there. But here in the Itacaré, it's a very small town. And uh, it's very uh, open, have a lot of forests. And people make a lot of things outdoors. Fishermen and uh, small shops, so people don't agglomerate. So look at this. It's the Casa de House of Cachita. Thanks, Joyce and Mary Lou, for joining. This is Cachita tells is a memory to the independence of Bahia, which took place in 1823, when they were fighting for the independence of Brazil against the Portuguese colonizers set here. So they every second of July in Bahia, they celebrate a lot of the vote. This is a fisherman's uh, place shop. Every 2nd of July, they celebrate here the, the day of the independence of Bahia and the uh, Indio Cachita or Indio Cachita, the indigenous uh, character, represents all the indigenous people who at that time joined the fight for independence. Here is a, a man who is a character here and who is represented on different uh, arts around town. Olá, tudo bom, senhor? É, tô, eu sou guia no, no Rio de Janeiro, eu tô mostrando um pouquinho da cidade para promover a cidade. O que é... Po, posso promover? mostrar o senhor? Oh, eu tô... é? Qual o nome do senhor? Meu nome é Jura. His name is Jura. Meu nome é Jura. Mr. Jura. Eu, eu sou o mais levado, o mais beijado aqui que sou eu. So he said he is the most like mischievous and the person who is mostly loved and kissed here in Itacaré. He is very famous here, so bem famoso aqui, né? Não, a fama não quer dizer. A grande é, C é o meu ser sensível social. Isso, famoso por isso. Meu dinamismo com as pessoas. Isso. Não podemos ser desimotivo diante de coisas banais. Nós temos uma dimensão de amplicidade cultural e da melhor possível. Ah, que porque lindo. Porque ser desimotivo sobre pular do lado sensível, cultural. A minha avó não sabia ler nem escrever, ela foi atriz da Globo. Então eu preciso traduzir isso aqui. Nossa, é, qual o nome do senhor mesmo? Jura. Ó, oh, Mr. Jura, he said that he, we can't really take for granted a life and we need to go deep and leave every essence with a lot of passion because we can't make everything superficial. We need to live life at the most. So he's famous here, but not because fame itself, but because of his sensitive side as a man, as a human being, as a person. So he's amazing. Seu Jura, eu vou, eu vou, um, um, eu vou seguir que eu um quero verso. mostrar o sol Se descendo eu antes que ele um suma. Eu, é, eu, eu só estou com medo do sol sumir. Tá que eu, eu prometi o pessoal mostrar. Mais. É, né? Porque não, amanhã, hoje não tem mais sol. É. So he said, Mr. Jura said, that because of the clouds there, we won't be able to see the sun setting today, but at least I will go there to show you the place. He wants to leave a poem there for you. I don't know how I will translate that, but I don't know how I will translate that, but let's try. Eu, eu sofro em silêncio. He suffers in silence. Sorrindo pela própria dor. Laughing through the own uh, sorrow. Num nascimento tão lindo. É, no nascimento. Um silêncio tão lindo. Ah, in a beautiful silence. Quando o silêncio do amor. 
as the silence of love. Ai, teu jura? <risos> Obrigada. Ou não, por que não conjugar o verbo amar? Yeah, so why not to uh, uh, conjugate, to play with the verb amar, to love? Jesus Cristo é amor. Jesus is love. Deu a vida para nos amar. He gave us life so we can live, love each other. E, é, por que não conjugar o verbo amar? Eu te amo, tu me ama, nós nos amamos. So why not to play with the verb to love? He loves me, I love him, we love each other. Muito obrigada, seu Jura. Gratidão, viu? Você me dá uma moeda para tomar uma cachaça? Opa, daqui a pouquinho eu vou passar. Vai passar aqui? Deixa eu, é, deixa eu só olha, terminar aqui. Olha, olha, eu sou, eu moro na rua. Aham. Uh -huh. Eu sou feliz. Sim. Eu He's moro. homeless. He's Sim. happy. Sim, eu sou feliz. E foi uma coisa assim, que eu abandonei tudo que eu tinha de valores. So he said he gave away all that he had, uh, like, of valuables and material life. And material life, eu vivo, sou feliz. To be happy and live his life at the fullest. Aí não é, não é ali... Se você me der uma moedinha para tomar uma, tá. eu vou ficar sentado ali. Então, soon, uh, Hans, thank you so much, because soon I will give him some uh, change, yeah. some spare change he's asking for. So when I come back and I finish the tour. Um beijo para você. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau, tchau Cezura. Muito obrigada. Eu vou ficar aqui, viu? Tá, vou voltar. Se você me der, não importa. Não, 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 tudo é bem. Cobrança, não é cobrança. Sim, sim. É eu gratidão, assim, claro. Não, eu, 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 eu fui um tempo, né? Eu Sim, uma. sem problemas. Eu só vou terminar meu trabalho e já passo aqui. Obrigada, seu Jura. So there is the work of artist Isolag, who makes beautiful art throughout this town. And Isolag, uh, he represented there this girl, and he also represented different. Uh, he represented Mr. Jura, who is going there. He represented Mr. Jura in different parts of the town as well. So I said, Mr. Jura, I'm going there to do my sunset tours and I'm working and I will show people from all over the world a little bit of our sunset. And he said, ah, Kelly, today is cloudy. There won't be the sun if the sun is behind the clouds. But anyways, I'm here for you because at least we can have some good vibes shared, the location and the vibes of nice people around here. E aí, pessoal, tudo Sorria, bom? Tá Sorria! <laughs> Smile! <laughs> so, these are the good vibes of people here around. Thank you so much. More people joined. Hans supported me. Thank you, Hans. I will share, give a little bit of that to Mr. Jura, uh, and, uh, who is an, a, a local artist and a homeless people in town. He is very respected here in this small village because of all the heart that he shares with the with locals. Thank you, Darren, for joining for Virginia. And Drena, also from West Virginia. Thank you so much. Yes, Mr. Jura. So uh, uh, many people think, ah, this is a small uh, tropical village with only fishermen and houses and very touristic and they think that because there is so much nature and so many things to see and do that won't have history but when i run these tours wherever i go i prove people that mostly place that we go there is a history and i research i take my time to share that those histories and bring meaningful experiences for you so this part here As you see, there is the Fisherman's Association, and it's where you buy fish in different shops around. Also, where there, are. there is a restaurant here which I like. I ate here yesterday, Popa. And it's the Amy Amy restaurant. It's a local restaurant, locally owned, and it's highly recommended. Cheap, good, fresh food made by the ladies here who buy directly from the fisherman. A lot of people now finish their works, fishing, and they are gathering with their families here. And while in the Charel Point, hi Nan, hi Haley, thanks for joining. Usually you see the sunset right there. 
And when the, it's not cloudy, you would see here many, many colors and the sun, the orange sun down in here. But today you see mostly of the sea side in the part which is not touristic at all. The Charel viewpoint is the touristic part and this is the locally based part where the fishermen's village are located, where they arrive with their boats, where in the middle of the night they get their boats and they go to fish, they go fish where they park their boats. And what you see surrounding it are high, important lands of mangroves. And now many people are gathering here. And despite of not having sunset today, there is a habit here in Itacaré of people coming and gathering together after work to see their friends and to gather here to see the fishermen like we are doing now. So they come here in person to see the sunset. And I will invite you to come here. It's a, where there is a nice view and compositions of all this movement of fishermen coming and going. So let's, so let's come down. Let me see if I can come down here. Oi, oi. Olá. Olá, dá licença, boa tarde. Ah, olha só, posso mostrar o peixe? Oh, que legal. So he came here today with his fish and look how many fish he got. Olha só quantos peixes. Quais peixes tem aí? Aqui tem carapeba. Carapeba. Essa tapa. Tapa. Essa Uau. Esse é o vermelho. Vermelho, the red fish. Wow. Cabicudo. Cab oh, o que, que o pessoal aqui, o pessoal está me perguntando aqui, aqui em Itacaré se come mais peixe ou mais galinha? É peixe. É mais peixe. Ah, so they said that's mainly fish what people eat here. Ah, obrigada, viu? Dá. So I'm walking here. Olá. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Boa tarde means good afternoon. So there are people here gathering to see the sunset that didn't was seen. Wasn't seen. Olá, tudo bom? Oi, oi. So I found my place here to sit. Estou aqui fazendo um tour virtual. <laughs> And uh, here we are. As you see, it's beautiful around. They do fish with nets. And on the other side, uh, there are the, um, the fishermen, they are sewing their nets on the, by the shore. We are able to see that. And they uh, put on their smaller boats every every night or very early in the morning or in the middle of the night they carry their nets and they are small fishermen which uh, keeps the richness of the fauna here on the waters preserved so this is an area of brazil which is really preserved of the rainforest with mata atlantica the atlantic rainforest due to the cocoa lands cultivations you know and there, on those trees there, where it's all mangrove area, you see there is the forest there. There are the forest houses, and all of that are mangroves. So I, yesterday I took a, a boat ride all the way to mangroves with the Rio das Contas, Rio de Contas, all the way there on the back. And on this time of the day, Many herons, white herons, are coming here and they are coming to gather and to sleep. They all come flying, they are white herons, and they go there to the mangroves to get together and sleep. 
as people are coming here to see the sunset, they are coming there to meet their other parts. Hey, Victoria, thanks for joining. Hi, Angel. Hi, Ronnie Lynn. Hey, hi, Lucy, thanks for joining. I'm sharing here the fourth part, the fourth sunset. Today we didn't have the sunset because of the cloudy day. Well, the, actually we had, we didn't have the same colors, the color of the sky. So we are having more now of the life of fishermen on after a day of work and people gathering here with us to do the same thing that we are doing here together. Hi, Lucy, thanks for joining. Please let me know if you have any questions or any specific requests. Since the colors of the sky today are not changing with all the full colorful palette of warm colors, I can in a few minutes just come up and change the scenery and show you other things of the life surrounding us. Just make your requests, ask your questions. I have many information about the beach life and the life of people here regarding their delights, the things that you can do in Itacare City, the struggles as local peoples, how we, are, we see uh, today tourism here and what we recommend that you do while we talk about sustainable travel. So please let me know what are your interests and I will navigate through, through that, sharing my knowledge. For those of you who arrived now, I'm going to show myself a little. Hi, hi, I'm Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro. And I'm here traveling in Bahia, Itacaré, in the northeast of Brazil. In Salvador, Sayuri Koshima runs the tours. And I'm here to meet my daughter, who is living and working in Itacaré. Now I will switch the camera again to share more of the fishermen who are getting back to their main boats. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lohan. Lohan, thanks for joining the tour. He's the fisherman with his wife and Pat and other people just gathering. He's saying, Mommy. And here's a heron come, coming, flying. This heron will stop in the mangrove there. You see, to meet the other herons where they have their inhabitant and their nests. The mangroves, the wetlands of the mangroves, they are rich on three different mangi trees, which is the red and the white. And they are very important inhabitants where thousands of species dwell in, in a harmonious ecosystem, which constitutes the nursery of numerous species and where the, the river meets the sea. So behind and between these hills of the mangroves, there is the river of Contas, and there is a history of Rio de Contas, where people bringing the diamonds would come through this river to this port to make all the accountancy of the exchange of cocoa, beans, which was used as currency in the time, and the diamonds. So this was a, an area where pirates from all over the world would come and try to get the land here of indigenous people and from the Portuguese. So that's why there was a fort here. And the structures here of an old fort in this part of the town and that's why that cannon was also located there. 
Hi, Jill. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Ellen. Thanks for your question. This is good. Nice, Ronnie. Thanks. Yeah, that's the idea. That's why many people are here gathering. I'm going to show you another part of the same uh, fourth part here. Tell me, Nina. Demais. Boa tarde. So I'm coming back to show you another cool part of it. So the next tour is, I haven't really scheduled. Uh, oh, well, actually I did. Uh, I, I will schedule, I will meet Sayuri Koshima. Tchau, tchau, meninas. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau, pessoal. Eight. <laughs> I'm I'm here laughing with the with them the families playing with each other with the kids. And uh, Mr. Jura here. Isso. He's Mr. Jura. A grande felicidade. The greatest happiness da nossa cidade in our city, in Itacaria City. Por os, os ingleses que tomaram o poder uh -huh. na época. Ah, so he said uh, in, in 1800s, when they were fighting for the independence, the British, Isso. they took over the support of the Portuguese. Eles vieram com uma análise de solo. So they e came com o quê? Análise de solo. O que, que é? An solo, análise. Ah. So the the British they arrived sim. here. Eu quero mostrar aqui também. Sim, sim. They came with to analyze the soil here sim. in the region. E detectaram que o nosso solo aqui é na região não era é, eficiente para plantar o cacau. So they analyzed that the the soil here was very rich to plant the cocoa trees. Eles se subiram o rio de conta. So they then came, vou mostrar lá. So they then came to the, the, the Conta Rivers. E chegaram até um local onde tinha um solo fértil para cacau. So they arrived here in these lands uh, where they saw a soil, a fertile soil for the cacau trees. Que é uma gila. Which was a village que ela tem on that time. De liquidez da natureza. Because it has the city, but also the beauty of nature. <laughs> que nos deu um direito de ser fértil. E... So it gave us the right to be fertile, prosperous. Próspero. Yeah. E nós nos tornamos uma Bahia que fomos PIB a nível nacional. So... They became a Bahia state that was elevated to the international and the national standards in the economy by selling cocoa beans. Nós somos o berço da cultura brasileira. So we are the cradle of the Brazilian culture. <laughs> He's a great guy. Eu e nós não somos nada. Uh, eles estão fazendo uma pergunta aqui, ó. Is cocoa chocolate or coffee? Uh, o cacau é chocolate ou café? Cocoa é chocolate. chocolate. It's for chocolate, chocolate. Ronnie. Ele, é, o cacau ele tem uma determinância. The cocoa has a... É, eu preciso saber mais para poder calma. traduzir. É. Sim, calma, espera aí, viu? Eu vou mostrando um pouco mais da imagem aqui também. É, é. Agora não tá bom, só não, não apareceu muito, né? Uh -huh. o, o cacau, ele é uma... Substância. The cocoa has a substance. Que você não precisa fazer uma corrida rústica, usar água. Você no... pega uma semente do cacau e joga debaixo da língua, ele é amargo e ele vai lhe dar uma energia da melhor possível. Ah, ok. A so... saliva tem sais minerais, ele se eleva com cacau amargo e lhe dá uma substância de energia 10 milhões de vezes que a água. Ah, ok. So he's saying that the cocoa beans has a, such a powerful and magic substances that gives you a lot of energy. So when you put the cocoa beans in your mouth, it waters a, a lot with the waters in your mouth and the substance mm -hmm. of your physiology and gives you very strong energy. 
So the cocoa is from the Amazon region and it was brought here to Bahia to be climatized and it was it adapted really well to the plantation here in the forests. E graças ao cacau que fomos preservados, né? And, and thank you to the cocoa trees <laughs> here in the plantation of <laughs> trees that we have the biggest amount of uh, of the Atlantic rainforest <laughs> in Bahia because the cocoa trees only are uh, planted if there are higher, taller trees surrounding it because it likes the shade. It likes the sombras. Por que que nós temos um um, um clima tropical úmido. So we have, he says, <laughs> why do we have a, a humid tropical <laughs> climate in Brazil? <laughs> Eles estão fazendo uma outra pergunta aqui, ó. É, eles começaram, os, os franceses começaram a plantação de cacau aonde? Os ingleses. Os ingleses, é. Os ingleses, aqui na nossa região. So they planted here in, in our region, in Bahia. Sim. Also, os portugueses também, Portuguese. the Portuguese, and, yeah. but the British, yeah. they took over, eles, eles saíram yeah. na frente porque eles foram plantar lá em Ghana, lá né? Em Ghana, so, man. the British, they took the plantations to Ghana, yeah. so today, Ghana and the coast, uh, the Marfim, the Ivory yeah. Coast, yeah. are the yeah. greatest yeah. producers of cocoa. Uh, the, the British, they, they took over the, the cocoa from Brazil, from the Amazon, and they planted in their colonies. O cacau é uma árvore sagrada que ela produz até 300 ou mais de 300 anos. Nós temos cacau aqui com essa idade. So que cocoa o... uh, is a sacred tier, tree, and hmm. Mr. Jura said that for more than 300 years we have hmm. cocoa here uh, hmm. in the region that when they were first planted hmm. in the region. E o cacau é viaga natural. Ah, so. <laughs> So then, uh, Jura, Mr. Jura, is saying that the cocoa is a natural Viagra. It's a natural Viagra because of its energy and properties. Aí, they laugh. Estão rindo lá. If you want to take a, a screenshot of Mr. Jura, then there is your opportunity. Olha lá. Beijo, vai Tchau, tchau, Bem, bye, bye. Estou feliz ao lado da minha grande amiga. He's happy, close Conheci, to Kelly. Por Kelly. exemplo, Kelly, um momento esplêndido do melhor possível. Me deu uma dimensão de mostrar e falar o que é que nós somos, que nós devemos ser, que nós podemos ser. So this is great, Mr. Jura. <risos> so he's saying that it's a great pleasure to be here with me, <risos> Kelly, and with you who gave and created an opportunity and Sim. give and share with you the dimension of what we are as Brazilians, what we are, what we want to be, and what we can be as opportunities, as history and culture. Vou Lindo, deixar um verso. Posso deixar um verso? Ah, he wants to live another poetry. Agora. Isso, vou deixar e vou virar a câmera para lá enquanto o senhor Isso. fala do verso. Está bonito é. lá. Eu sou em silêncio. Como, ah, eu I sofro em silêncio, sorrindo pela própria dor. Laughing through my sorrow. Não há silêncio tão lindo. There is not a, such a beautiful seed. Quando o silêncio do amor. As the silence of love. Jesus Cristo deu a vida para nos amar. Jesus Christ gave us life to love each other. Por que não conjugar o verbo amar? Why not conjugate the verb to love? Por que não falar? Eu te amo, tu me ama, nós nos amamos. Why not say I love you? You love me. I love we love each other. Why not say I love you? We love I, you love me. We love each other. Eles estão onde aí que estão de ouvido? So there here Mr. Jura is asking you, where are you? He wants to know. Ó, oh, tem gente da Virgínia, dos Sim, Estados Unidos. Que está agora nos, Where é... are you talking from? Mr. Jura wants to know. Where are you speaking from? Indiana? Sim. Virginia? Sim. Ele está falando, um grande contador de histórias, seu Jura. Gratidão. <risos> 
E, é, e eles estão perguntando <risos> se pode plantar a árvore do, do cacau da semente ou é só enxertia? Não. Existem duas formalidades. Se ele comer um cacau, ingerir e for fazer uma necessidade orgânica, ele nasce. Ah, so Mr. Jura said that cocoa I can be planted, yes, from in, uh, in the top of another tree, but on one branch on another tree. But it, it, even it has such fertile properties that if you eat the seed and you poop afterwards, then if you poop in the land, it will be able to be born from your poop. É o orgânico, é o orgânico. Ele é uma... It's organic. Orgânico. Ele é uma planta é, que, se você for analisar o que é ela, ela é uma determinância de planta divina. Ah, so... Ela it, é divina. It, it's, uh, it says, uh, Mr. Jura says that the cocoa is so powerful and organic that the powers it has, if you are going to analyze it, you find its divinity and its uh, power and magic. So there are many people who make ceremonies of cocoa, which are ceremonies that were found in old scripts of the Inca people, the Zincas, in Mesoamerica, in the lands of the Amazon, where, and in the Mesoamerica, where they had cocoa trees of different species as well. So it's used in ceremonies here in Itacaré and in other places in the world. So also do Canada. Tem uma pessoa from Canada is also present. We are loved. So we are loved. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. Amazing. Hey, Carissa, thanks for joining. Now, estamos chegando ao final do nosso tour virtual. <risos> virtual. Né? So, look Sim. at this. Olha que cores lindas. Sim. Look at these beautiful colors. Even though we had a cloudy day and it's evening here, the colors are beautiful anyway. Está lindo mesmo sem as grandes <risos> cores que a gente <risos> vê geralmente. Sim, né? o que é ali. Você não pegou ainda né, o porro aqui? So he said, uh, eu já sim. peguei, já, já. mas é, eu já transmiti para eles já, também, sim. É, em outro Pode. dia. É uma dimensão. So he's saying that the sunset sim. here, when it's not cloudy, é. is such a dimension that he recommends you do this tour again to see the colors of the sunset in another day when it's not cloudy. A Bahia existe. Bahia exists. Vários climas. In different climates and weathers. Os melhores possível. For the, the best climates in the world. Ela tem... It has... Em, dentro de, um, de um, um próprio estado. Inside of one state. Vários climas diferentes. Many microclimates. Tem o semiárido. The semi-arid, which is semi-desertic. Tem a caatinga. The caatinga, vegetation. Nós temos a nossa região que é tropical úmido. The humid tropical area. Questão do cacau. Yeah. Mas todos esses climas que existem na Bahia. But all of these climates that there are in Bahia. Tem uma determinação de vida. There is a, a life determination. Uma determinação de vida. Mm -hmm. A vida não é só aqui. And life Ela is not é here um, only. Uma, uma elevância do nosso estado. It's a, an, a power of our state. Que pouco estado tem no Brasil. That just a few states will have in Brazil. I agree. Eu concordo. <laughs> I agree. Por isso que é o nosso estado favorito, não é não? That's why it's our favorite state in Brazil. It's Bahia. Bahia. Oh. Um beijo oh. a vocês. Obrigado. Um beijo a vocês. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada. Chegamos ao final do nosso tour. Sim. Eu vou também apoiar é, o seu Jura. Hum. I will support Mr. Jura. É, he wants to have some cachaça. Hum. Né? É, e também comidinha, né? É. né? Um ranguinho. É, é, if you can support also, uh, I will be very happy to pay my, my work and to support Mr. Jura as well. So Mas... he's homeless, he's a local poet, Ixi, and he é. says that it's from the bottom of your heart. If you can support, it's not mandatory, but it's something that we appreciate, 
and to keep doing our work, living our life, sharing the, this life with you virtually. So, fechar, thank you so much. Pra fechar agora. É, pra fechar, to close. Com a said, chave de ouro. Closing, with the golden key. É, com a chave de ouro. Eu sou um morador de rua. He's homeless. Mas sou feliz. But he's happy. A felicidade é uma casinha pequenina. The não happiness tem... is a little, a small house. Nela não tem porta nem janela. There is no... Mas é do sítio, tem uma oh. festa. But, uh, wait a minute. Peraí, pera pera tá linda. <risos> oh. In this little house of Sim. life, there Sim. is no door nor window. Mas tem o que que penetra nela? Uma flecha que já do esquisto penetra nela. But there is a hole in the wall through where the power of Jesus Christ get inside of this house and bring you joy. Thank you so much, Ronnie, uh, and thank you so much. Uh, what's uh, Marie, Mary? Thank you, Mary. Glory, glory, Gloria. Gloria. Mais a última agora. Uhum. Mas é a última, a última, música, a última, já, a última. Já, já passei do tempo aqui. Eu sei, quando eu não mais existir... When he says, when he doesn't exist anymore... Me procure nas flores. Look after me on the, the blossoming of the flowers. Se vê aquela que você tocar. The one that you will touch is the flower <risos> where Mr. Jura will be present. Tchau, tchau, né, Mr. Jura? Tchau, tchau. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada. Felicidade. Happiness. Felicidade. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Deus é, é bom, né? É maravilhoso. É maravilhoso. God is, and God and é. the goddesses are wonderful. Thank you so much. We appreciate. Thanks for your support. And see you on the next opportunity. Thank you. Goodbye. Tchau, tchau.